All right, Shalom, this is the Wild. Come with a quick lesson. I like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone, preaching the word true and sincerely for over 30 plus years. Peace and blessings to the brothers that scattered abroad through the four corners of the earth, preaching the word true and sincerely. And peace and blessings to the Akim. Be like unto the speckled bird, scattered through the four corners of the earth as well, too. And peace and blessings to the daughters of Zion, the sisters that's in the truth as well, too. And <clears throat> once again, this is Thawaya, coming with another quick lesson in the book of Ecclesiastics, chapter 7, verse 5. For it is better to hear the rebuke of a wise then for a man to hear the song of fools so you know it, it is best to get rebuke from the men of the lord as the most high and his son ordered and the elders apostles and the Akim leaders and the brotherhood on down as well too in that order so you know you know in this world you just go hear songs of fools which you know we living in a crazy world right now which is upside down uh run by esau just like in the scripture says uh job 9 to 24 the earth was given to the hands of the wicked and he covered the faces thereof so you know it's it's good to get a rebuke from the wise of the men of the lord you know that's preaching wisdom knowledge and understanding <clears throat> With that, that's in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, it's, get a, it's very good to get a rebuke from a wise person, from a wise person of the man of the Lord, you know, because he have the clear understanding and a better breakdown of the precepts of the Holy Bible, and you'll get true understanding of it, of the man of the Lord, a great millstone. You know, in Akim, scattered abroad as well too. May do so where they located at. You know, so you know they break it down. The wisdom and the knowledge very well, and so you get a great understanding from the wise men of the Lord, and then rather than hear not real doctrine from. A, you know, from your pastors or whatever. So it's better to get good knowledge from a wise man, the man of the Lord, as they break, break, break the uh, scriptures down, very important. And so at least, you know, you know the man of the Lord that's out there trying to wake up the sheep, trying to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, with this wisdom, you know, they is the the new generation of uh, wise people, you know, to give you this knowledge. You know, it's a beautiful thing to have this knowledge and then to get rebuke from a wise man of the Lord. You know, if you get offensive, if you get offended by it, you know, that's on you. You know, you're gonna have different brothers in the camps. You know, the spirit is gonna be laid back. And then you're gonna have brothers, you know, give you that strong rebuke. But it's in a righteous rebuke though. So, especially like a young Aki and myself, you know, I don't mind getting rebuke from a, a older brother or a younger brother, you know. Cause I'm still young and it's true, but it's not really about me, but it's about the brotherhood, you know, and it's all about, and first and foremost, it's really all about Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, and then the elders apostles on down, and then the elders in our camp, and then the older brothers, and the other brothers in the brotherhood, in that order, you know, for example, you know, I definitely wouldn't mind taking butte. But at first, I used to get offended by that before I was, you know, coming into the truth. You know, 
I thank the Most High and His Son and the Elders Apostles and the Elders and the Brotherhood for helping me get over this, you know, as I'm making confession of that. So, you know, I'm still continuing to learn in this truth. So it was better for me and others, you know, seeking for the truth of Yahweh Bashim al uh seeking for that wisdom, seeking for that wise, you know, even you know you're going to get a, a strong rebuke, you know, but it's in love and righteousness, though, you know. So it's better to get wise for the men of the Lord, of not of this world, even though they in the world, but not of this world with the upside down society that we're living in that you'll hear the songs of fools it doesn't make any sense you know they don't come with no good balance positive uh wise sometimes you know you might be jakes in the world or somebody that you know they might give you some knowledge but it's not really in according to the scriptures for the man of the Lord, you know, bring out with precise and practical ways, you know. So, but other than that, uh, this was the book in, in Ecclesiastics chapter 7, verse 5. As I read it again, I'm going to read it again. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than from a man to hear the songs of fools. So, you know, it's better to be wise to hear the wisdom and knowledge from the wise of the men of the Lord, you know. Because out here in the world, in Esau, Edom's world, you know, you're going to get foolishness and false doctrine of wise counseling. But other than that, I hope this essence was Salakia. But well, other than that, hope, hopefully that this uh, lesson was edifying. And I would like to give all praises and glory and double honors to, to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone. Citations and peace and blessings to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the earth. And peace and blessings to the brothers, be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching the word truly and sincerely. And peace and blessings to the daughters of Zion and taking heed to this truth. And with that, I will say, Shalom.